Good morning, super cool party people. Today is the day that I need to finish packing and kind of get everything in order. Like I wanna make my bed so when I come home, it'll be nice and made. So you should probably get on that. We're just cooking a breakfast right now. And then I will start the packing thing, or I mean finish the packing thing. Um, a interesting thing happened last night though. Let's go. So last night we saw online that there was a bear in our neighborhood and um, you can kind of tell there was a bear in our backyard. He like destroyed the fence a little bit there and got to the compost. So that's a fun thing, bears like apples and we have apples, so that's cool. Also we took the arcade machine out of this room because the couch was gonna need to be there. It's coming along slowly. All right, so other than like my food stuff and getting dressed, I am fully packed. Well, and the laptop. Laptop last minute thing doesn't count. So I'm feeling pretty good. It is noon o'clock right now. Still don't know when we're going in. I'm gonna guess probably in the next couple hours she'll come to pick me up. So we shall see though, but feeling like we're ready to get this. Yeah. Okay, so I have a time now when Strudel or her mom is gonna come pick me up. I'm not sure because technically Strudel's the one who messaged me on Instagram. <laughs> um, so I've got about three hours, I think, until she's going to get here. Um, so that's good. Maybe I'll have a nap because I'm a little tired. <laughs> With daylight savings and everything, getting an extra hour of sleep, I'm like, mm, maybe I should nap. But we will see. Like, I think other than the camera that is in my hand right now, and my food, I'm I'm packed, so I don't really have much else to do. What is going on there? So hair. Uh, so yeah, maybe maybe we'll watch a movie or something. I don't know. Check my list, make sure I do in fact have everything. The um, you know, the important things. Alrighty, so I think we're just about at go time. It is 20-ish after four. I've packed up my food. I've crammed everything except for the camera into my bag. So we do that now. And then next time I see you. We have a blind channel. Well, wow, this is so weird. Cause the first time I went, I just boat it the whole way. So it's weird to drive and anyways. So yeah, should be good. Well, I've made it back to blind channel. It couldn't take like any vlog footage on the way because it was just pitch black. Like it's almost winter now and just so much dark and so much rain. But I can give you a quick cabin tour cause I'm staying in one of the cabins this time because it's close enough to the store that uh, there's a wireless bell set up there so if somebody rings this is gonna be where I'm going to be working and sleeping and playing for the next two weeks except for with the dog Strudel oh my god Strudel was so excited to see me she was like love me love me love me and then in the car she's like I want to sit on your lap and then she like calmed down because it's like you know we were together for like an hour and a half or something and then when we got back to the dock here she was like oh my god look who's here look who's here I'm so excited so weird dog but that was cool anyways I'm gonna go to the front and it's pitch black outside, so we'll see outside tomorrow. I mean, it's, it's blind channel, and um, I'll do a quick overview of the cabin. All right, so this is the main room. This is the glass doors right here. Uh, there is a dining table, a kitchen with a full-size fridge, which I'm super excited for, because I thought I was gonna have to store my food elsewhere. Kitchen here, then you turn around. Here's a little couch, a uh, living room area. Apparently this thing doesn't work, but that's fine. It's warm enough in here. TV's up there. Then you go this way. Uh, this is one of the rooms, not my room, uh, but one of the rooms with the bunk bed, whatnot. Um, I might actually use the dresser though, because there's a dresser in the other room. And then this is the bathroom. It's super nice. There's the propane heater for the water. And look at the size of this bathtub. I might have to have a bath while I'm here. Ooh, but there's a spider in there. We'll just... It's fine. And then you go back out this way, and this is my bedroom for the next two weeks. And there is a deck out back too, so that's exciting. I think it's going to rain a lot, but here we go. This is my new background for the next two weeks. I'm really excited to be back out here. It was funny because I got dropped off with all my stuff, and then the Strudel's mom left, and then my boss had come over to just kind of give me a walkthrough, and then he left, and I'm like... It's only 7.15, but I feel like I'm, I'm on curfew and I'm stuck at home, but it's fine. Uh, I can definitely do some unpacking and I will eat dinner at some point. I need to figure out what I want to eat though because I need to defrost it. But also, I need to pee now, so I'm gonna go. So I don't seem to have access to Wi-Fi from this cabin. I could be wrong, like it could be just not wanting to do the thing tonight. Where's the button? 
So I'm gonna watch TV. I'm gonna attempt to turn the TV on. I think I have to stand up because the fridge is blocking it. Um, I'm kind of tired though, so if I didn't, if I wasn't feeling like I need to eat something, I'd probably climb into bed now, but it is only like 20 to eight and I didn't eat dinner, so I'm gonna do that. I'm just letting my food defrost a bit and then watch a little bit of TV and then go to sleep, I think. This is so, so, it's so different from last time I was here because last time I was here, I was living with six people or with five other people. So it's like such a different vibe. It's so quiet. There's only six people on property right now, period. So a much different vibe for sure, but it should be good. I've got my writing stuff right here. And um, hopefully I can get some work done on that while I'm out here as well. Unless I have to like answer all the phones, which may be a thing because maybe I'll be super busy. I don't know. I was watching a movie and the satellite receiver went out. I think it's because it's like really raining outside right now. So that's probably what the problem is. Fortunately, I did download a bunch of stuff onto my computer before I left. So I'm going to watch something and eat my spaghetti. <laughs> so more food than I need, but... Whatever, it's good. I will have a sleep, a food coma tonight. Sound, sounds like a plan, but yeah. Maybe I'll leave the TV on and see if the satellite comes back, but I doubt it. Alrighty, well, I think it is a wrap on day one out here in Blind Channel. Um, it's about 20 to 10. I'm pretty gassed. I don't know why I move as the travel. I, I don't know, but I'm all in my room now, nice and cozy. I have chips in case I get hungry. Um, and I'm gonna climb into bed, finish watching the show, and then maybe put on some Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which I downloaded to pass out to. Yeah, so with that, I will see you tomorrow for day two. And um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Good night. Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to Blind Channel officially in the daylight. It's so misty and blah, I love it. Yes. So I'm not really sure what I'm up to today because the family is still on the property. So I think it's just gonna be like going back over stuff and learning a few new things. But yeah, it should be good. I was told to be ready for nine. It's about 22 right now. I'm just gonna have my breakfast drink and um, figure it out. It's raining so much. But that's kind of what I expected. I expect it rain and only rain while it's here, so. It's what I was looking forward to. <laughs> it's supposed to be sunny at some point, but yeah, I should go do my breakfast drink before I waste all the time. Okay, so we just spent like two hours going over all the things, so hopefully we're good. We still have to go down to the fuel dock at some point, mostly because like I have a sign that has the fuel dock hours on it, and also because I don't know what I'm doing. I have the doorbell buzzer plugged in here. I have the phone over there. I have a radio here. There's a boat going past right now. Just keep going, friend. Just just keep going. And now basically I just sit and I wait for the phone to ring or the door to buzz or the radio to go off. So I'm logged in here for the calendar. And now I think I might try to do some writing maybe. This will be exciting. It feels like it's gonna be a very chill day today. I think it'll be pretty chill in general to be honest. Okay, so I've eaten lunch, watched an episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and I am actually editing my book now. And I think it's mostly because <laughs> I am so bored. So this is actually likely going to be a very promising two weeks of work for me because I am so bored. The phone rang once. Um, I went to get it because I can't reach it from this side of the table, so I walked around and somebody else had picked it up before I got to it. Once. <laughs> There's supposed to be some boats coming in later today, I think. Um, so there's that, but they won't need help. Uh, the person who took the phone call, she was like, oh yeah, no, it's fine. Like, they're good. They're very self-sufficient. <laughs> so <laughs> legit, nothing to do. I have some stuff that I've been asked to do in the store. 
so I mean at least there's that but I don't want to do that on day one because if I do that on day one then I still got like another 12 days or something so that's my update now it's 20 to 1 and I'm just working the sun came out a bit it stopped raining but now it's getting dark because it's almost winter so yeah that's my two hour later update basically there are two boats coming in one and two right behind it i might actually have to do something i mean i did actually have to answer the phone earlier um but it was like for cabin booking on a far removed date so that was fine also i met the guy in the summer so i knew who it was um, but I might actually have to go open the store or something if these guys want something. I don't know. It'd be nice to, you know, go for a walk, get out of the room for a second. Um, I also ran to one of my other bosses. Well, she was walking past and I waved and she came in. But yeah, these guys are going to dock themselves. So I don't need to do anything. <laughs> I guess I'll have to check them in. Yeah, we'll get to that. False alarm. I didn't need to do anything. I mean... Kind like I, I happened to answer the phone because the phone rang while I was down on the dog, but that's about it. So <laughs> I'm back here now. They're like moving their boat around to get their ATVs off of it to load into one of our boats to go elsewhere. So that's a process that there's no point in me being there for. So I'm just back here. I uh, learned a little bit about the fuel dock briefly there and um, back to editing. Oh wow, Six, page 62, which means I'm halfway through. That's actually really exciting. And um, once I finish this chapter, I think I'm gonna take a break and watch some TV or something. I don't know. I just feel like I've been sitting here for a long time and it's boring. <laughs> okay, so it is quite a bit later. I actually had to open the store because those boats that I pointed out earlier, they were like, we're out of honey. So I went and opened the store for them. I learned the last I need to learn about the fuel dock. It is getting very dark out now and it's only quarter after five. And I figured I'd actually work on my vlog um, for week one of Vlog Channel um, for a bit here. So at least I feel like I was productive because my boss came over when I was like on the couch under a blanket watching Say Yes to the Dress. <laughs> He's like, hey, you're working pretty hard here. <laughs> I was like, I know. <laughs> um, not that there's much to do, but I figured for my own state of mind and to keep up on this, I'm gonna try to edit every night. So we'll see what happens. And then, yeah, once I'm done toiling away on this for a bit, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna make some food. I'm hungry now, but I'm like, I wanna push it off because if I'm like hungry now and I eat now and I get hungry later, then I have to walk to the store to get junk food and it's not far. <laughs> it is so much closer than it was in the summer. Like in the summer, there was a hill that I would have to come back up to go to the store. So like, I almost never went to the store to get junk food, but here it's like a five minute walk if that. So yeah, anyways, this is done rendering, so I'm gonna start editing and we will see how long that takes and how long I can hold off getting food. All right, it is um 10 after eight and I think I'm just gonna go to bed. It's just so dark and there's nothing to do. Uh, I've watched like one and a half uh, Christmas movies because why not? <laughs> and they're terribly predictable as you would imagine. But yeah, I think I'm gonna climb into bed, watch some of my own stuff, and then tomorrow all the bosses are gone. Um, and like the main like full-time employee here is also gone because she's got charters to do. So it's just me. <laughs> but it should be fine. So with that, I'm going to say goodnight to day two in Blind Channel, and I will see you tomorrow at some point for day three. But who phones at eight in the morning? It's just rude. <laughs> Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome to day three in Blind Channel. It's maybe going to be a promising day today. It's not raining at this exact moment, so that's a win. And um, as you can see, lights are still off. I just woke up. Well, probably woke up about half an hour ago. It's not even eight. It was 7.20. The time on the phone is wrong. 7.20, that's mean. Anyways, I've been up <laughs> since at least seven because I went to sleep super early last night. I got like almost 10 hours of sleep and I'm feeling pretty good other than the fact that I kinked my neck. Um, you really don't need to get dressed until just before nine because that's like the first time that people will be buzzing at the store. 
Um, so that's nice. I do have some things I need to do outside of the confines of my cabin today, like changing the time on the fuel dock. And I also, that guy said he'd call back later to get information that I don't have because I ain't in the store. But yeah, so should be good. Yeah, I don't know. I slept really well, so it's a good start to the day. Goodbye, last other staff member on property. Goodbye. And with that, I am all alone here. I mean, there are two other people on property, but they don't work for the business, so... You know, it's just me. It's been, I would say, a pretty busy morning already. Not really, oh, my hair. Um, I've had to answer the phone four times. Two times was the same person, that was annoying. Um, <laughs> and I had to go to the store to check something, and then I finally brought the hours down to the fuel dock, and while I was down to the fuel dock, I had to answer the phone, and then I was coming back from the fuel dock, and I was like, oh no, I locked my keys in the fuel shed, <laughs> but it was fine because I learned yesterday how to get into the fuel shed. <laughs> So that was good. Um, but yeah, so then I came up, I did all the bookings, and I went back down. So I've, I've been moaning around a bit. I'm editing the vlog footage from yesterday right now. And um, there should be someone coming in for fuel at some point because they did call and say they were going to come. And I think the boats that came in yesterday, I think they want to move their ATVs. So I'll have to coordinate that. But that person that just left, he's going to be the one who's doing it. So they're going to have to wait till he gets back from his run. But yeah, it's been busy-ish. Busy-ish. All right, we have come to do something very important, which is let the dogs out. Strudel and Lucky. Oh, and here's a kitty, Spooky. Hi. I'm not gonna pet you though, cause I'm allergic. Hi, Strudel. Lucky, you wanna come out? Let's go see if we can. One sec, I'm checking out your sister. Lucky. Hi, sweetie. Are you okay? Are you good? You wanna stay here or you wanna come out? Okay. You wanna come? Okay, I'll come check on you later. Hi, Strudel. <laughs> Hi, Strudel. Hi. Drop it. There you go. All right, important task complete. I'll come check on Lucky later. And now back to work. <laughs> it's still sunny, which is pretty exciting. And I'd say I've actually been kind of busy today. Like I had to answer the phone a few times, put a couple chargers in, had to go open the store twice. You know, it's it's not been a slow day. I mean, it hasn't been a busy day, that is for sure. Um, but it hasn't been a slow day either. So yeah, I've pretty much done no work on my story. It looks like maybe six pages since yesterday, but I've just not been motivated at all to do that. I was this morning, but now it's 1.30 and I've been working on this since like eight on and off. So <sighs> maybe I'll try to find something on TV to watch. But knowing my luck, like just when I cooked lunch and put it on the table, the phone rang, that's what'll happen. Like I'll just get the TV going and someone will show up at the fuel dock or something. But still, maybe, maybe we'll uh, try that out because this is not going anywhere. So I'm not gonna lie, I turned on the TV and before I'd even turned on the satellite receiver, I had to deal with something. And then I just sat down on the couch and then there's a phone call. <laughs> I just like, uh, typical, typical. I'm gonna try sitting back down again. I have no idea what's going on in this show. Also like all the good channels, like the HGTV like channels, they're all not coming through. Or maybe, I don't know. Anyway, it's so sad. So I'm stuck watching Christmas movies for the rest of my life. It's okay though, but I'm just saying. Okay, I've exploded a little bit over here. I mean, the rest of the place is fine, but that desk is really table, whatever, is really bad. I like to spread out, so I'm gonna try to take some time to move things that maybe don't need to be there, like all my tech stuff into the other room or something um, and just keep the my work stuff and the work work stuff here. I've actually, you know, it's been a lot busier than I anticipated it being. It seems like every time I try to leave the house, the phone rings or something, so yeah, but it's good. I just got an email from 
my partner in crime <laughs> and she says she should be back on property sooner than she thought so that's exciting i should probably do my dishes too <sighs> gotta get my life right <laughs> hi hi oh it's so dark in here oh don't <laughs> should we turn on a light let's turn on a light oh stop it <laughs> so in like pretty classic way that today's been going the second that's like oh, I'm gonna start cooking dinner uh, the guy that also works up here showed up. He's like, I've been ringing the doorbell forever at the store. I'm like, were you ringing the right doorbell? So I had to go let him in. And then I was just about to come back into the cabin and then a boat showed up for some fuel and then they wanted something from the store. So it's been like half an hour at least since I started to try to make dinner and I just got back to the house. Also, I missed the end of my Christmas movie. So I have no idea what happened, um, but it's really interesting <laughs> because another Christmas movie started. And in both this one and the one before, the like, oh, mom's dead. In both of them, like, come up with a better hook or something. Anyways, I'm gonna cook my dinner now and see how the rest of the day goes, I guess. Where, like, everything's closed now, so I shouldn't get bothered again. <laughs> when it's any time after five and you need a headlamp to get around, it is so dark out there. Like, so dark. Anyway, I just got home from wrangling the dogs back into the house. Well, I mean, Lucky was already in the house. I managed to get her to come out of the house and go pee, which is like an accomplishment because she doesn't like to do anything when her mom's not around. Um, but I think it's mostly because the cabin that she stays in is being renovated right now. So I got into the cabin next door to get water because all the piping got pulled out in that cabin. And um, while I wasn't looking, she was like, oh, now's my chance to go pee. And I got close to the door. She's like, ah, I need to get back in before you lock me out. So anyways, I got her in and then I had to go find Strudel, which is hard because Strudel is a basically a black dog and it's like pitch black out there. So I found her with my headlamp because it was like, oh, there's some creepy eyes, glowing eyes coming towards me. So that's good. So the dogs are safely put away. Um, their mom is now starting a charter and then she should be home soon, hopefully. Poor, poor her, it's been a long day. Um, but yeah, so now, take three on making dinner. It is now, what time is it? It's like 20 to six and I started cooking at 4.30. Third time's a charm, right? Well, it's like 20 to eight and I'm freezing. It is so cold, it was so nice today. And then it got so cold I went down to the dock when um, the last boat came in uh, just to touch base and everything. So cold and I still haven't warmed up. I guess I should have worn gloves down. Anyways, I think what I'm gonna do, I got my jam jams on already, except I got this jacket on still. And um, I'm going to plumb under my blankets, maybe even grab the extra blanket. <laughs> Burr and um, watch some shows. I think I need to actually restart my computer though because iTunes isn't working properly and I have like four seasons of shows on iTunes that I can't watch. So, what day is it? Day three? <laughs> with that, I'm gonna say goodnight on day three of Flying Channel and I will see you tomorrow for day four.